Okay, so in this video we're going to be talking about adding decimals. Okay, now pretty much everything that we're presented with when we're talking about money is presented to us as a decimal. So for instance, if I have um, £6.25 um, pocket money and um, somebody else gives me another £4.35 and I want to add those two together, then really the easiest way is uh, to add them together as a column and also make sure that your decimal place always remains in the same place. So if I add those two together, I've got 5 add 5 is 10, not there, 1 to carry, 3, 4, 6, and then nothing to carry, 6 and 4 is 10. So in other words, I now have £10.60. Okay. So there's a couple of things with that. Sometimes uh, decimals are presented to you as, say, a length. So it might be um, 4.6 centimetres. OK, and I want to add that to uh, 3.27 centimetres. Well, certainly when you're working with decimals, it is always very helpful, as I mentioned before, to make sure the decimal, uh, decimal point stays in the same place, but also make sure there are the same number numbers after the decimal point. So 4.6 really should be rewritten as 4.60, just to make sure that everything remains in the same column. And then I'll do the same uh, calculation as I did before and add the two together. So 7 plus 0 is 7, 6 plus 2 is 8, and 4 plus 3 is 7. So my total of adding those two together will be 7.87 centimetres. Um, really, in terms of adding decimals, the only other uh, area that you might need to consider is to make sure that you're working with the same units. So it could be that you've got 141 millimetres and that's going to be added to 22 centimetres. OK, well, there are 10 millimetres in a centimetre. So what I have to do is convert that to centimetres or convert that to millimetres. Um, I'm going to convert it to centimetres. So that will become 14.1 centimetres plus 22 centimetres. And putting these together in a column, I will then put it as 14.1 plus 22.0 and add those two together. So 1 plus 0 is 1, 4 plus 2 is 6, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So I've got 36.1 centimetres as my overall length. Um, there, is, there is a separate video on converting from um, different units, say millimetres to centimetres or metres to uh, kilometres and that sort of thing. However, the purposes of adding decimals, the two key factors are to make sure that you keep your decimal point in the same place and you also make sure there are the same number of numbers after the decimal point in order to add them together and to stop the columns becoming a little bit too confused. Um, I hope that's okay. If you have a look at the website, there are some uh, learning sheets you can have a look at and try for yourself.